So much to do, so much to do. Good morning, everybody. Another new day is upon us again. They just keep coming. Man, I'm out of water, that's a problem. Getting a whole bunch more stuff done today, like usual. I'm trying to get stuff done. We don't want to waste a single day. We, uh, there's so much involved in buying a house and selling one. Like, people don't teach us these things. We don't learn this stuff in school. And this is my one, two, three, third house I've sold now in my lifetime. And fourth one that I've bought. So I, I kind of know the ropes already. I know what's going on or what's supposed to go on. But there's still so many things to remember. Yesterday when we were uh, signing our mortgage documents and stuff. We forgot about interim financing. Because uh, we're taking possession of our new house. Uh, just under a week before the new owners of this house take possession of this house. So in the meantime we kind of own two houses right. But we need uh it's called interim financing. It, it closes the gap so that uh, because the money we make off this house has to go to help us purchase the next house. But technically, we don't have that money yet until this house is officially occupied by the new owners. But we already are going to be occupying our new house. But we need the money from this house. You get what I'm saying? There's so much to remember, so much to do. So we had to quickly uh, phone up our uh, our bank and ask them about interim financing because we forgot to do that. And they, they've been awesome. They've been awesome. Uh, they right away, has, right away has helped us out. Within a couple of hours, our lawyers had received the paperwork for our interim financing so that we can get everything going. Otherwise, we'd be homeless for a while because we can't take possession of that new place until we have the money to pay for it, like the down payment and stuff. The full down payment, I mean. And we have most of it together already, but we're also buying two properties, right? We're buying the house and the land. So we were short just a little bit, and we needed a little bit off the sale of the house to just cover the little bit. Oh, it's just a, it's just a headache buying and selling. Like, I wish that there was a uh, someone along the way to sort of coach you, make sure you don't miss anything, make sure you dot every i and cross every t. Right? We already had a mortgage broker we were working with, and uh, the bank. They've all been great. They've, they've all been great, but just there's so many things involved. And you know, we've talking to some of our friends that want to buy their first house and. I'm trying to let them know, like, it's not easy. It's doable. You can do it. But just let's go over the things you're going to need because no one tells you that until you need it. <laughs> Anyways, oh, so that's what I've been dealing with today. Uh, so that's all done. We have an appointment with our lawyers at 3 o'clock. They've got all the paperwork. Uh, everything is going to be legal and official then. And then, uh, that's it. That's the final step. The final step. Britt is at work right now. She's been working so hard to make up for the fact that I'm not working very hard. <laughs> because I, I can't. I can't just go on a trip and be gone for a week and a half when we're in the middle of all of this mess right now, right? It'll all be good, though. It'll all be good. We're doing okay. It's just, you know, a bit of a stressful time. But it's almost over. 3 o'clock today. The final step other than physically moving our stuff from here to there. I'm excited, I'm excited. I was going to be home all next week to help settle in, but since I'm home all of this week for all the paperwork that I forgot about, like I said, there's always lots to, lots to uh, remember. Uh, I'll, probably, I'll probably leave like Wednesday, I'm thinking if I can next week, uh, instead of staying home the whole week to settle in. And you know what? We'll get everything in there, we'll, we'll, we'll get the important things set up, like the TV, we'll get that all set up, bed, and uh, I'll take off to work and I'll let Britt settle in for us, I guess, and then the next time I come home I can enjoy the new house. That's just the way it is. We gotta work. We gotta get back to work. Anyone know what time it is? We packed all our clocks already. You know what time it is? What's the time? 
Don't want to be late for this appointment. This one's important. Oh, well, they're all important, but this one, this one's the last one. Let's stay down there. Let's stay down. 122. Okay, so we have some time yet. Good, good, good. Whew. We're almost done. We're almost through this. This guy's license plate. Oh my. There's a few more things to do. Gotta go to the bank, then to the lawyers, and that's it for today. It's actually my mom's birthday today, and uh, we wanna take her out for supper. So we'll meet her up with her later, after all this is all done. I'm not sure when she wants to go yet. I've been so busy all day, but we asked her yesterday if we could take her out, and I think dad's on the road right now, so. Didn't know if she had any plans or not. Can't stay at home by yourself all day on your birthday. Maybe my sisters have something planned too. I'm not I'm not too sure what's going on. Britt just got off work as well, so she's just gotta go pick up uh, Wiener's heart meds that he has to take every day with his food. And then she's gonna meet us at the lawyer's office. Well, that's it. The last piece of the puzzle has been placed. Everything is now legal and official. We move on Monday. Here we go. Another adventure. You know, you gotta keep life interesting, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go meet my mom at uh, Big Smoke Barbecue, or Big Smoke, where the old diner used to be across from Southland in Steinbeck here. I'm gonna take her out for supper. Birthday supper. Oh, here's one of these, bye, bye. There he is, you wanna hear him? We've got a stop sign coming up, you're gonna hear him. Bye, bye. I used to be big into cars like this and little tuners. It's actually a pretty nice car, but. You know, it just doesn't compare to the sound of the V8. Once you have a V8, you just can't go back to the little four bangers. It's a nice car though, I'll give him that. When I was in high school, me and my friends, we were all about those tuners, you know, the Civics, I had a Cavalier, whatever, four cylinder, and, you know, see how tough we could make it sound. We didn't have the money to actually make it fast but we wanted it to sound fast, right? <laughs> uh, I like pickup trucks now. They're so much more useful. So this used to be diner on 52. And Britt worked here when it was still that restaurant. Now it's Big Smoke Barbecue, Smokehouse and Grill. And I would recommend it. If you come to Steinbach, stop by here. Britt doesn't work here anymore, but man, do they make good food. The birthday girl right here, turning turning what? Thirty five again? Yeah, thirty five again. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> thirty five times two almost. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, my dad called her and sang happy birthday to her today. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. You were just gonna sit at home all by yourself all day? Yeah, I was. Yeah. So we pulled her out, took her out for supper. Dad is not on here. Cheryl's at my house. I told them that we got mom out for her birthday. Yep. She was just gonna sit at home, taxes all day. Thank you. working all day on her birthday. And Dad's coming home later tonight. Just yet, so. day. <laughs> right there. Turn 35 again. Mm -hmm. You guys are getting pretty close in age there. Yeah. I know. Right? It's kind of crazy. crazy. Well, I stopped at 20, uh, 28, I think. I stopped at 25. Okay. I'm That's a youngin. Cradle <laughs> robbery. <laughs> This Big Smoke is a great restaurant to stop at, though, if you guys ever want to. 
nice to have a nice supper again. That is such an awesome restaurant. They make such good food. So now we uh, head home once again, and that's pretty much the day. It's 5.30 right now, but I'm getting tired. I guess I didn't sleep as well as I thought I did again last night. That's yeah, okay. We'll make up for it tonight. And I've made myself available to work uh, tomorrow, but I have to be back by Friday. So that'll be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll see if they can find something for me to do that'll get me back in time. I mean, if I leave tomorrow, I could go to Calgary or Edmonton. All depends what they have available and what they what they need what they need hauled. Zini? Little Zini? You're not done yet. You're you just want mom? <laughs> hey, little bugger, come on. Diesel. <laughs> he coming around? Is he coming around? <laughs> Chevy, where'd you go? Chevy? <laughs> oh, you almost hit a tree. Watch where you're going, bud. Oh, what a move. What a move. Here he comes. Chevy. Chevy. <laughs> he gallops like a horse. He's so big. He does, yeah. You just hear him coming. Shakes the ground. Get him! Oh, Diesel, I got a stick. Crazy. Yeah, I gotta cut up this tree if we have time this week yet. If not, uh, the new owners didn't mention anything about this tree laying in the backyard. So I'm sure they want the firewood and they didn't mention anything about it, but I'm still gonna try to get it cut up at least and uh, we'll see if we have time. Hope so, but it's gonna be quite a week. Lots to do. Always right beside me. <laughs> Best friend, eh? So that was it for today. Uh, it was. A, it seemed to go by faster for me too as well. I know that I'm uh, making this a little shorter than my past couple of ones as well, but the day did seem to fly by for me as well. And uh, we got everything complete now. Got to take mom out for her birthday supper and uh, Came back here, we continued packing and getting the house ready a little bit. Old Brit continued packing. I was getting a few other things done and... It's coming quick. So tomorrow, <clears throat> I'm making myself available at work. Um, tomorrow's Wednesday, so I'm filming this like yesterday for you. Uh, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm available to work. So I don't know if they've got some local stuff or some, some regional stuff. Just a Regina and back, maybe Calgary, Edmonton and back. I, I don't know. I'm going to make myself available to see if they have anything for me because uh, I'd like to get a short trip in before the weekend yet. We shall see. If they don't have anything, I guess we'll just be uh, sitting here at home talking to you guys. Well, I'm going to be talking to you guys anyway. I'm going to take you with me. I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm going to end this right here. I'm going to put this together for you so you can watch it tomorrow. Thanks for watching today, though. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Sorry, I'm so tired right now. I can't even really collect my thoughts. It's been one of those days. Talk to you later, everybody.